Hey, everybody. How's it going? This is episode 103, I think. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> the big promo cast. God, there's so many we can't even count them. Uh, I'm going to talk about merch is everywhere. Um, a thing that uh, LeBron and the NBA and are doing with some cereal. And it's Nike, which is kind of cool. And employee onboarding. Nice. I'm going to be talking about how Liquid Death is making uh, merch sort of the center of their marketing. Um, also going to be talking about how Jack in the Box is utilizing its competitor's failures. Okay. <laughs> and uh, International Women's Day is coming up. Cool. Here we go. Welcome to the Big Promo Cast with Amber and Rich. In this podcast, Amber and Rich discuss the world of marketing, branding, and promotional products. Now, here's Amber and Rich. Hey, guys. Um, so sorry about the audio on the last episode. Um, hopefully, this is fine. And how's everything with you? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. <laughs> uh, it's been a heck of a week. Yeah. Saturday night, I was dragging the trash cans in from the curb, and I trip and, tripped and busted my knee in the mud. And it's right. been horrible all week long. Fantastic. Sucks getting old. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> then I had a birthday on Monday, and so we didn't do anything because I was laid up. So that's, what, that's cool, though. <laughs> I don't count birthdays anymore. It was the 30th anniversary of my 29th, though. Oh, it, it was the <laughs> fifth anniversary of my 29th. <laughs> that is what she said. <laughs> anyway. Um. Anything to start off with? You good? You want to you start? You want to start? Sure, I'll start. All right. Okay. So I know liquid death is kind of your thing. No, but... it's our thing now. Okay. Well, you have usually been the one to talk about it. True, true. So um, I had seen how liquid death is uh, the CEO and founder is like making a thing of the fact that Liquid Death is utilizing merch mm -hmm. as like the center of their marketing. Yep. And um, so he he was actually talking about how he's comparing it to like how musical artists release merch right before an album comes out. Or of something. course, they sell it on tours and all that stuff. Yeah, and um, they if you look at their merch shop, they actually like a lot of their stuff looks like something that would be released it, from like it, corn or metallica or it's, something it's very very rock and roll and yes. they do sponsor some bands and stuff too i think so yeah they've got all kinds of apparel mm -hmm. um but they've got some cool like random stuff too like the the uh dog chew toy yeah that's pretty awesome chewed too to, chewed to death dog toy i love that yeah they've got a mini fridge um goes on here oh it changes you get the black or the white okay cool uh this little cutie polluty is cool too a little polluted animal yeah it's all screwy <laughs> and these koozies are cool with the cans that mean this that look like bags like you're yeah. drinking a 40 yeah they're awesome so, and this fridge is cool too yeah um, um actually i have a confession that i was going to use this story too and then i saw <laughs> you do it and i said oh well, i'll let her have one but they did speaking of how merch is going everywhere Last year, apparel sales was three million. The year before that, it was seven hundred grand. Wow! So they have, well, tripled. Is that is that right? Anyway, it's a lot. Yeah. Of <laughs> of just just using merch as another profit center, not just an advertising thing. Mm -hmm. um, they give it away. Like they sent me a couple weeks ago. They sent me. I haven't got them yet, but they sent me a, a survey. Where do you buy it? You buy it at Amazon or Whole Foods or what? Mm -hmm. And what do you buy? Do you buy the flavors do you buy the sparkling do you buy the regular that kind of survey and for filling out the survey they're going to send you two koozies for free including awesome. shipping so those are on the way but you know that's an advertising or a, or, or a, or a method to use merch yep. for that kind of stuff so um so that's pretty cool um yeah big fan of liquid death and they're they're making a lot of people i'm not i wouldn't say nervous but they're making people pay attention yeah because now well you remember that plastic thing we brought up a couple weeks ago that they plastic industry <laughs> harps on liquid death for having to drag water from Austria to the United States. Yeah. You know what? You got to do that with water too. You got to haul it all over, <laughs> over the country. Um, anything else on that? No. Cool. I'm going to play Bobby's video. So merch is no longer simply advertising. Merch is the new press release, the new instigator, 
the new provocateur. It creates cult-like fervor and followers forging tribal identity. Merch is an emotional connection and conversation point. Merch is the new affordable luxury. Merch is now leading trends and creating trends versus following trends. And merch now falls under a bigger umbrella of brand expression. That's awesome. He, he uh, is one of our industry pundits, I guess. Mm -hmm. And they did a, a webinar. And I think it was also part of their SKU con conference. Oh, no. Really? I don't want to hear anything. Oh, just now I'm going to get shut down by Facebook. Friend. Thank you. Anyway, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> you wrecked my whole point and everything. Anyway, our merch is, where was I? I don't even know. Merch is cool. Everybody loves it. So anyway, um, this is an article. We talked about this a long time ago. Um, this was from March of last year, I guess. When they, uh, talking about how, the first thing they talk about is a guy that makes a CBD infused sparkling water. So as well as making the product, he also came up with a merch line. Um, cool. Peloton has a crazy, not crazy, but you know, a whole bunch of merch. Nothing's crazy here. That's all workout stuff. It's all makes perfect sense. The crazy stuff is like the Mac and cheese sweatsuit. Yeah. From Stouffer's. Here's another odd one. Golden arches. I mean, a blanket mittens and a winter beanie. Uh, from McDonald's. Here's, of course, the liquid death you talked about. Here's, uh, now this was kind of interesting. A neighborhood or like a, a company decides they want to make merch for for whatever reason. Brooklyn, the Queens, the Bronx. Nice. That's what this is for. And, and and then we have that, our same, we've talked about this before too, Bull Zerk. Mm -hmm. They have all kinds of Texas, well, other Ukraine, they're doing that too. And they're so small and nimble that they can create this stuff out of nowhere. If something happens in the morning, they can have a shirt by the afternoon. Cool. Which is kind of, it's very, you got to be very flexible. Um, <laughs> what you, are you laughing at? Uh, the uh, America, Texas in 49 pitches. <laughs> that's right, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're awesome. They got a fun little store down there. And, they're able. and that's a small place. That's a really small little store that can do that kind of stuff. Um this is another thing that I just saw this week. UPS came up with Be Unstoppable gear. All right. It's all UPS branded stuff, which I thought was kind of weird, but they <laughs> debuted it at Fashion Week huh. in New York City. 100% of the proceeds go to up support up-and-coming black designers, which is nice. Nice. Very nice. The stuff is, I guess it's designed. I mean, that's, I don't know, Be Unstoppable. It's a good message. Yeah. It still says UPS all over it, though. <laughs> but, you know. You know what? A lot of people, like, like me personally, if I see something cool, like I really don't care what the brand is. I'm still going to use it. That bottle's fine. A wireless speaker's fine. Yeah. I don't care if it says UPS. Exactly. Um, anyway, that's an awesome one too. And then as far as merch for a smaller business, this is a restaurant in San Antonio called Bliss. 10 years old. Okay. They got an, an artist, which is very well known, a local artist, Ray Tattooed Boy Scarborough. And he came up with these, uh, a couple of, like a shirt and a bandana that they're selling. Cool. <clears throat> Ten Years of Bliss is what it says on there. And it's got a, a little drawing of the restaurant and some other stuff. Nice. I mean, there's ways to use merch to do all kinds of, well, you can, all kinds of promotion, but also sales. I mean, you can, it's a profit center. Yeah. You can do all kinds of, you can make all kinds of money doing stuff. So, um, here's another this is something that was in our newsletter yesterday from Food and Wine. KFC's weirdest and most wonderful stunts, which were <laughs> the romance novella, which is awesome. Yes. I don't even know if that's for sale. I didn't look. I guess I should have. <clears throat> oh, that was for Mother's Day. You had to buy twenty dollars worth of chicken <laughs> to get it. Chicken sunscreen, awesome. Uh, chicken clothing, that's kind of cool. And the little pillow is great. Uh, chicken flavored. Chocolate truffles. How do we know. miss all of this stuff? I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, we pay attention to KFC and I stuff know, like this. We, I didn't see that at all. Fried chicken pizza crust. That's a crack up. Uh, chicken for Valentine's Day. Uh, we missed it. We missed everything. I and know. That, I don't know if that was this year or a year ago or what, but we missed that too. I don't know. It's just, it's really, really fun. And this, a lot chicken of the stuff. Space. What is chicken in space? Um, I wonder uh, if I should play it. Okay. Oh, it's on Facebook. Let's see. See if it'll play. Maybe something weird. It may be too long, too. What the heck? Oh, it's a, is it a minute or an hour? I can't tell. 
That's an hour. <laughs> okay, we're shutting that down. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, it's KFC. I will put a link to it though. Anyway, I mean, there's all kinds of all kinds of ways to use merch. And if you didn't get our newsletter this year, this week, we, I also wrote a blog post about it. And merch is the new thing. It's the new era. It's it's a lot better than it used to be. Mm-hmm. It's just got a lot more respect. Yeah, that's all I have about that. Cool. All right. So I want to talk about something that's really interesting, or I think so anyway. So everybody knows that McDonald's and their ice cream machines are kind of hit or miss. Like you never really know if a McDonald's ice cream machine is going to be working. I've heard their stories that the employees just say it's broken, so they don't want to mess with it. They don't want to clean it. They want to set it up. This is what I've heard. I don't know if that's true. Well, back in October of 2020, Mm -hmm. somebody set up a site called McBroken.com. That's awesome. So where you can find out if um, (coughs) the your local McDonald's if their ice cream machines are broken or not. Incredible. So for the month of March, Jack in the Box has taken over McBroken.com, and oh my god, they still show you. Where um, where there are broken ice cream machines at McDonald's or working ones, but they also point out Jack in the Box. Wow. And, like, if you click on one that's broken, it'll tell you. Um, it, Is that broken? It says um, busted ice cream machines. <laughs> <Jack. Ba-da-ba-ba> busted. <laughs> I love that. Holy <laughs> moly. <laughs> My God, and it gives you directions to Jack in the Box yep. from there. That's a crazy yes, thing. Does. Why don't I get involved in that? That's pretty funny, though. Yeah. That is insane. And so they're doing this um, just in time <coughs> for McDonald's uh, does their Shamrock Shake every March for St. Uh, Patrick's, right? Patrick's yeah, Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Jack in the Box has their Oreo Cookie Mint Shake. Okay. And so on. Oh. On okay. the McBroken.com site, yeah. it gives you a little promo code to use um, at the bottom of the site. Download the Jack app to get a $2 shake. And use the code McShammed. Yep. Don't, <laughs> don't get McShammed. <laughs> that is fantastic. I love it. Me too. That's a good find. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's not merch related at all, but so what? It can, but it, it's still fantastic. It's marketing related. It, it is marketing related. That's fantastic. <laughs> Well, good one. Okay, cool. I got nothing to add except, yes, go Jack in the Box. Actually, I don't drink shakes or ice cream at McDonald's, but that's either here nor there. That's I never even ask for ice cream at McDonald's anymore because I'm tired of being told that the ice cream machine is broken. Really? Yeah, really. I mean, you you used to regularly have a cone yeah. or something like that? Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, Great. This is from, I mean, I don't know what to add about that. I just don't eat ice cream at McDonald's. <laughs> like, oh, Bluebell. I mean, I guess I like Sapsler, but anyway. Our buddies at ASI, which is our industry trade group, I guess, one of them. <laughs> Five strategies for better employee onboarding. There's a few tips in here that are smart. And mind you, this is a promotional products trade organization. So they're, I guess they're giving you a whole bunch of HR information that's pretty generally there yeah make an onboarding checklist assign a buddy to each new hire what was the first one uh get in touch ahead of time it, I, create an employee portal build your own snack box services this company oh wait a minute that's not what i'm saying uh oh he puts everything into a portal that you can you know, hybrid remote workers get all the their stuff they need. But anyway, the very last thing is to put a welcome kit together of branded merch. Of course. And why would it be the last, though? This is from a group that hustles branded merch. Hmm. They think people, I don't know. I don't know if this is for us to republish and use, but I don't know. I mean, of course, this is the first thing I would think of, but I'm yeah. sure there's, yeah. but that's just me because I'm in this business, but. I just don't know if that's for the general public to find and then I'll stumble upon it at the end. Oh, that's a good idea. It's the very last idea. I don't know if that's. Well, and I know sometimes in blog posts, you don't want it to be too salesy. Yeah, I guess. So you got to kind of like slide things in there in the middle or at the end. I suppose. But anyway, shout out to ASI, I guess, but for giving us something to talk about. Anyway, shoot. <laughs> 
All right. So International Women's Day is March 8th. Okay. Every year. Um, which also happens to be my friend Stephen's birthday. But Happy birthday, Stephen. <laughs> um, so there are some really cool opportunities um, for things that you can do for International Women's Day. Okay. Um, I mean. Oh, that's this one. Okay. The Under Armour one? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, like, merch is a great way to get out there the message of International Women's Day and yep. all that, you know. I mean, maybe we could close that wage gap, but. Uh. <laughs> is there, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, but so, Under Armour, um, there was a protest a couple years ago, mm-hmm. uh, th- this big protest about. Uh, women in sports Mm -hmm. and wanting equal treatment and things like that. Mm -hmm. So Under Armour took some of the protest signs and actually created a merch line. Oh, that's what this slide is. Yeah. Cool. Um, So, I mean, they've got, uh, there is no limit Uh on all their stuff. They do have men's tees as well, which is nice. Yeah, cool. Um, Got some shoes. I thought the shoes were cool. Yep. So... Yeah. That's fantastic. And then uh, Fossil is actually showcasing. That's this one. Okay. They're showcasing products by uh, women business owners. Oh, cool. Um, So, like, they. Not necessarily models or anything. They're just people. Right. Oh, right. Awesome. Just female creatives. Fantastic. (laughs) Um, So, you can do their International Women's Day shop. And, you know, they've got some totes and posters. They've got that bandana. They don't have a lot of stuff on there. I kind of wish they would have, like, reached out to more people Mm. and given us more options. Yeah. Well, they do make, they're known for watches, so. Yeah. I don't know that they can, I don't know. They do have lots of stuff, though. They have a lot of fashion stuff. Yeah. Like Fossil. So. Cool. Yeah. You know, just a little tiny bit of pushback though on the equal thing for sports like the i know the soccer the girls soccer team was always saying we need to get paid equal to the men but women's soccer people don't watch it advertisers don't advertise on it if there's not as much money in the sport there's not there's not as much money in the sport therefore there's not as much money to go around now they probably are being underpaid i'm not saying they're not being underpaid however there may not be a lot there to get that makes sense. I mean, you WNBA can't... is the same way. You you hardly ever. I mean, it's on TV, but you know, it's not in the news like 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 men's is. Yeah, because it's not as popular. Now, I'm not saying it's not as good, or I mean, the product is pro- probably just as. I don't watch WNBA at all, and I could. I just don't. Yeah. So, but anyway, so. But yeah, that makes sense about you know you can't pay someone more than you're making. Yeah, <laughs> but. But again, in the regular business world, if there's two people doing a job, they should be paid the same. Yep. I don't matter no matter what they are. So that's I'm down with that. So anyway, the wage gap is a real thing. That's true. Yes, it is. Speaking of the NBA, there's a segue. Nike and LeBron James and Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles. LeBron's Sweet. LeBron's uh, <clears throat> when he was a kid, this was his favorite cereal. One when, of my favorite cereals, too. Still. When, when you <laughs> put milk in it, the milk changes color. Very nice. So, by that token, when you... Oh, how did you make this thing go away? When you expose these shoes to the sun, they change color as well. They change wow. to the same color of purple. They say. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see if it really works, but... I don't know. I think it's fantastic. And these... These are going to be available on March 7th, the day before International Women's Day. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> anyway. Um, actually, you buy those Fruity Pebbles, and you take a picture, and then you might get a 20, 20% discount code to buy them. Anyway. Cool. Science is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> How do you make your shoes the same, change color in the sun? That's really cool. Yeah. That's fantastic. So, that's all I have about that one. I love Fruity Pebbles. You do? Yeah. All right. Well, good. <laughs> I don't eat, well, I, I used, my favorite cereal is Frosted Flakes. I just eat, I'm just a basic. 
Now, my absolute favorite is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> That's good, too. Well, yes. I've tried that before. But yeah, Frosted Flakes, simple. They're great. Anyway, <laughs> great. Uh, what else you got? Um, shout outs. Um, you got I, one? I, yes, I have one this oh week. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. So, I want to give a shout out to my sister. So, for my birthday, um, so I've been like experimenting with different recipes and stuff and like trying to eat healthier and have my family eat healthier and whatnot. So, my sister got me this huge cookbook. Yeah. Um, and she also got me this really cool cookbook stand uh-huh. that you can like, in, it's wood and you put it on your counter and you can have your book like just face open yeah. while you're cooking. Okay. Which is really cool because currently mm-hmm. I would have my books just on the counter yeah. and end up spilling shit on it. Cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Watch for an sad. affiliate link to that in the description below. Go ahead. <laughs> well, that's all I got on that. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> Cookbook stand. Yes. Sister. Thank you, Allie. Excellent. No problem. Well, I'm going to shout out to my nurse practitioner that told that to fix, that helped me fix my leg on Yay. on uh, Monday. We did the x-ray and it's nothing, nothing broken thing in this, but she was that's just very, great. very nice and helpful. So that's all I got to say about that. Nurse practitioners usually are pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, she was, I was able to get in, I called them at 11. They got in at one. So that's fantastic. Oh, nice. They were able to squeeze me in. So. It kept me out of the ER, which is good. Yeah. The ERs are the worst. Uh, that's all I got about that. No comments. I guess that's all we got for this one. Promo code for this month. <laughs> I, I, did, I did that on purpose. <laughs> Promo code for this month is merch. M E R C H. Not March. Not March Madness. It's merch madness. So, yeah. But merch is the word. So, anyway. And yeah. that will give you 5% off $300 or more. Man, you got all the details. Yeah. Until what day? Um, until March 31st. That's right. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure. <laughs> that felt like a trick question. <laughs> I was just making sure that you, that you were on, 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 that you knew what, how many days there were this month. Yes. <sighs> well, we came, we saw, we did it. I, we've done it all. What else can we, what else do we have? I think that's all we got. I uh, hope, hope, hope to God the audio worked on this. Thank you so yes. much for your patience and I'm going to end it right now. All right. We'll see you next time. See you next week. What the heck? (laughs) Come on, man. I'm supposed to be... Oh.